So I just finished watching Stacey Chapin on the Squeeze podcast. I have to say, she's handling the grief okay. You can tell that she's struggling. The only person she confides in, and she doesn't want to be a burden to anybody, is Jim, Ethan's dad, her husband. And I find that so sad that she feels she's a burden and she can't talk to anybody but her husband. Like, her husband is her backbone and she said that, that without Jim, she wouldn't be able to go through this grief, which I appreciate and I respect. What Stacy's going through is so, so difficult, I'm sure. You know, Ethan was a triplet and he's no longer here and Maisie and Hunter no longer have their third triplet you know they don't have Ethan anymore Stacy's so so strong Jim is so so strong that family is so so strong I find that Stacy hides a lot behind these projects like the fundraising the scholarships the book for her grief everybody deals with grief differently she's doing what she can she's doing what she feels is right and what she's what she's doing is right you know there's nothing wrong with how she's coping with this I just find it so sad that she feels she's like a burden and She's not. Like, she shouldn't feel that way. But I understand. She's very prideful. You can tell. She's a beautiful woman. Stacey Chapin, I've always admired her since the beginning of this case. She's never gone to trial. They never will. The family won't ever go to trial. It's not going to change the outcome. She's always said that. She's a beautiful woman. And the strength of this woman is beyond, it's, it's beautiful. Um, and I love how they do keep Ethan's memory alive. The Chapins are a beautiful family, let's just say that.